Roma. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
still standing yeah. with all the activities of our limbs. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Awesome God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Awesome God we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. We serve a faithful God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. It's just a sweet old aroma up in here this morning. Amen. 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 Sweet aroma from yesterday. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you got a little sweet. Put your hands together. Say every praise is to our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This song is real simple. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord.
circumstances. Hallelujah. He said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Because he's in the midst with all that's going on and to bring you out. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So every praise is due our God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Love you so much. Because of He's got all by himself. We love him so much.
him so much because he first loved us. Amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Most High. Everybody needs somebody to lean on. Amen. Amen. And we need one another today. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. You pray. 
give him all the praise. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. I give him all the praise. Can we give the praise to him another hand in Jesus' name? I'd like to call up the woman of God, Minister Latrice Reese, for our announcements. Praise God. I'd like to, like to uh, if you all feel like me, can I get everyone to stand up just for one second? I don't know, maybe it's just me that God did something for you. Maybe it's just me. If there's somebody else in here that God did something for you, or something for your kids, something for your job, something for your provisions, I want everybody to give God. I'm not going to even ask for 30 seconds. God, a 15 second oh, praise from the heart. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the glory. 
Thank you for your presence in this house. Thank you for your manifest your power and affection in your life. Thank you for being Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost soldiers. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to call up that mighty man of God to honor us with his dance. In Jesus' name. Minister Anthony. Anthony Brown.
Praise God. Minister Anthony has stirred up the fellow ground. We've got to take a break for a minute. Uh, Mr. Cobb, Mr. Carlton, Ron, Ron, Minister Dillard, could you come to the pulpit, please? And Minister Carlton. To continue our service, to continue to tear up this fall of ground, we are called forth our own minister to one world.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Even that audience, we welcome you. We welcome you. And know that this power here, this anointing here is transferable over the internet. Everybody here, everybody over the internet, expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Holy Ghost soldiers. Any Holy Ghost soldiers out there? Give me an uh. Give me an uh. I can't hear you. Give me an uh, uh. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like to welcome you at this time. The man of God that has humbled himself before the Lord and has been brought up been brought up from bishop to apostle has been brought up from student to doctor who has been brought up he's, he was obedient was sent to the bush came back a king Amen. that mighty man of God Amen. doctor apostle yes. Ricky L. Barnett
through that situation. Break through that circumstance. Break through that circumstance. Break through that circumstance. I said, break through in that circumstance. Break through that hindrance. I think of every demon. And every body principality and power. In the name of Jesus Christ. A Nazareth power. The son of the living God. Who will break through on the prayer. I decree break through in your finances. Break through your vision. Break through your ministry. Oh God, I'm shaking in myself.
something for me to touch, to anoint. Mm -hmm. After the wallet, a purse, a picture, amen. You know, some bills, amen. Amen, amen. some court appointments, lawsuits, whatever. Next Sunday, bring it, amen. Let's fill this house up next Sunday. Because He's getting me ready. He's getting his hands ready for a change. Gosh, I got to do For the good. Amen. Amen. We have some changes. Amen. But this change is for the good. So, get the people here. They, I don't know what's going to happen. Amen. I know he's going to be here. That's all I know. Amen. Amen. I've been trying to make no announcement that I'd be here today. I've been mean, to make a phone call. And I was like, go see who's there. Amen. And they want to test the house out. And he's not coming for me anyway, but coming for the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, so God going to bless you today because you came for the Lord, for him. Amen. Amen. So people came from Pastor Barnett. Amen. Amen. They stayed home. Okay. No, 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 no. He wants those who come to him to be blessed. And I have a word for you today. Amen? I want to be before you long and get this word and get on out of here. Amen? I need to go to start this fast. Amen? Let's give the Lord a hand pray. I need to go to the desert. Amen. Amen. I want to be coming out of Matthew 6 chapter. Amen? Amen. Amen. Still part of the 
Sermon on the Mount. Get your Bibles out. We have scripture here, and I want to bless you today. Amen. And it's still under my theme. Uh, I go from the place there, you know, the keys to your blessings. The keys to your blessing. That, that's not the title of this particular message, but it's still under that theme. The keys to your blessing. Matthew 6, chapter. Amen. Let's go verse 24. Here we have two scriptures. Mm -hmm. Verse 24. First. The word of God said, it's in red. It's this Christ speaking. No man can serve two masters, but either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Come with me to verse 33 of the sixth chapter, verse 3. There's two scriptures he gave me. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you by your head. So Heavenly Father, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I yield myself to your spirit. Speak through me. Speak to your children through your word, Father. Release your blessing upon their hearts, Father. This is a day for their breakthrough and their blessings. In Jesus, Yahshua's name, amen. Give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. 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 These two scriptures, amen. Verse 24, Matthew 6 said, No man or no woman can serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. He said, You cannot serve and truly serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You may attempt to serve them, but some, one of them going to be missing something from you. Amen? Amen. Amen. It says, and for either he would hate the one and love the other, or else he would hope to one and despise the other. One of those masters going to be lacking in your dedication to him. You can't serve two masters. Uh, let me give me a title to this message. I said it's under the title of uh, under covering of the keys to your blessing. But I'm gonna give a title. You gonna get more than you expect. That's the title to this message. You gonna get more than you expect. You gonna find out when I go the scripture. You gonna get more. Than you expect. Amen. Say to yourself, I'm gonna get say it, say to yourself, I'm gonna get more than I expect. <laughs> say it again, I'm gonna get more than I expect. <laughs> say it one more time, I'm gonna get more than I expect. <laughs> Let's get the Lord a hand pray. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he says, and this you cannot serve God and mammon or God and wealth. Now, he's not saying that he had nothing against the material thing of wealth, but it be put in proper perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's only the same twisted. He wants you blessed. Amen. Yeah. But he wanted in his way, not yeah. your way. Yeah. I'm showing you these keys now. We're going to go to some other scriptures. Amen. Amen. He wants you blessed. He's like, give you power to gain wealth. He wants you blessed to be a representative of him on this earth. But he wanted it done his way, not your way. So let's go to verse 33. But, but seek ye first, we get to the key now, the kingdom of God. He said, you go after God's kingdom first. You have to go after what God wants you to do, the work he wants you to do. You focus on that first. You already have to put him first. Amen? Follow the scripture, and it says, and his righteousness, not your righteousness, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, go with me to Luke 11, chapter verse 10. In Luke 11, chapter verse 10. 
Luke 11 chapter verse 10. Follow me now. You got it? Verse 10. And it says, Luke 11 chapter, on the 10th chapter, verse 10. He said, For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Let's go over that again. The uh, other the scripture said, For everyone that asks, let's go to verse 9 first. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. He said, it might be open, he said it shall be open. Let's go to these are the key scripts I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. So you will get more than you expect. I, I, verse 9 again. And I say unto you, ask, he said, you can put a petition, and it shall be given you. He's gonna give it to you in the spiritual realm. Seek. And you shall find. You have to go after this thing. Okay? Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And you say, for everyone. You can say, some. Everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And unto him that knocketh, it shall be opened. I'm giving you the keys here. Okay? Go to Luke 18.30. Luke 18.30. Luke. 1830. 1830. I'll leave it for you long. Luke 18, chapter. Here it is right here. Now, this is the key right here. Verse 30. Who shall not receive? Okay. Okay, go to verse 29. He said to them, Very, very, I said to you, there is no man that have left house. Okay, so you see, this is the person who went after the king. Okay, check this out. He said, Very, I said to you, there is no man or woman that have left house or parents or brethren or wife or husband or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Who shall not receive manifold, manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting. Now check this out. Verse keep on verse 30. Now verse go with they say, he's showing that the person, he's trying to tell you the person with their left stuff to seek his kingdom. Oh shit. Children, husband, wives, houses. They turned and went his way. And this one, your blessing, you'll get more than enough. I'm going to break it down to you right here. Let's go over this again. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. just study behind me in these scriptures, okay? Hmm. I'm going to say it. Somebody read that for me. Read what I would have said. Verily, I say unto you, there is no man that has left house, or parents, or brethren, or wife, or children. For the kingdom of God's sake. Verse 30. Who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting? And I would have studied the word manifold out of Marion's Webster Collegiate Dictionary. Come on, preacher. The manifold is the adjective that said many times, a great deal will increase your blessings multiply. Which means you will get double for your trouble. Come on, somebody. Okay, oh, you don't hear me now. Uh, uh, he's saying that if you seek him, his kingdom first, you will get a manifold blessing in this life, in this present time. Oh, come on, you don't hear me now. In your life to come. He said, he going to bless you right here in this present time. And you will get your blessing more also in heaven. Oh, you don't hear me now. He said, there she seek 
the kingdom of God and his rights and all these things shall be added unto you. He said, if you walk away from some stuff and some people, if he call you, he said, I'm going to bless you in your present time. Manifold blessing, multiplied blessing, more than you expect blessing in this present time and in everlasting life. You will have double for your trouble. Bless him and bless on the other side. And give the Lord a hand praise up in his house. I said, give the Lord a hand praise up in his house. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to shoot God. I'm going to shoot the kingdom of God first. I have to leave some stuff behind. Good God Almighty. See, I don't want to be blessed. I don't know about you. I want to be blessed right now. I want a right now blessing. God told me the keys. He is a seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all He's going to take it back. Good God Almighty. God said, you put him first and seek his kingdom and his righteousness. You're going to receive a double blessing. You'll be blessed going in. You'll be blessed coming out. When you die, you'll be blessed over the other side. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You will get more than enough if you just trust him. Lean on and rely on him. Seek him first. Good God Almighty. You're going to be some folks. Some relationships, some material money. You better go after God, baby. No blessing. Hallelujah is in your business. Trust Him. We know the love for Him. I don't know about you. I want to be blessed while I'm here. You got it right here. I want to be more than blessed. I want to be a blessing so I can be a blessing. So I will seek God's kingdom first. Then I will put Him first. I'm going to deny some stuff. I want to deny some people. I want to leave some stuff behind. Because I'm going to get my blessing, baby. I don't know about you. You better go get your stuff. Hallelujah. God got a double cold blessing waiting for you. A manifold blessing waiting for you. Just obey Him. Just obey Him. Put him first. Uh, how do you keep coming to church? Uh, keep coming in this present. Uh, keep coming in this morning. Put him first. Uh, when the devil tell you to stay home, uh, you better press your way to the presence of God. God got a manifold blessing waiting for you in this present time. Not in the by and by. He said present time. Multiply blessing because you're obedient. He gave it to me today. Yeah. Oh, I got here. He said, don't call him. Come and drop this word for those here. It's a word from heaven. Huh? He said, it was, huh? he said you're a manifold blessing. Huh? You put him first. Y'all put God first today. Some people stay because they thought I wasn't here. God dropped this thing on you. God said he's going to bless you. You're going to have more than enough. Huh? You have an overflow and running. Huh? Good God Almighty. You're going to be able to be, be a blessing to other folks. Put him first. You let him put him first. Y'all had a hot am I shot that am I saw. Y'all had a decision to stay home and you came here today. He said, well, bless this house today with this word from me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Search the you'll find it. Thank you, Jesus. Said in this present time. Manifold blessing, multiplied blessing. More than you expect. By putting him first. You don't come seek no man, no celebrity, no heaven. You will come seek the presence of the living God. In your faithfulness, you will have your increase. You're going to be blessed. Put him first. If you leave some folk behind, some relations behind, put him first. Put him first. Put him first. You're going to receive a manifold. I mean, a multiply blessing in this present time. And in everlasting life. Raise your hands up and let's worship him. I'm through. You told me to tell you that word for those who came. So I was going to call and say, I'll be here. He said, don't call. Bless those who are there who came to seek him. 
bless him with this word from heaven. He's watching. He got angels watching. Write down names who walk through that door. Because he's here. Who's coming to see him? Not Apostle Ricky Barnett. He said he's going to bless you. Manifold. Bless In this present time. Search those scriptures yourself. Lord, be blessed again. You will have more than enough. More than you expect. He's not a man that he can lie. And it's in waiting. It's in waiting. That's God, the Christ speaking to his children. Search the scriptures.
You have a place where his presence is. And yet, you decide not to come. I'm going to lift your hands and say, Dedicate yourself. Okay. 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 What church do you belong to? You'll find out. Yeah, you know why now, huh? Yeah, man. Okay, leader, look back into fellowship. Anybody else want to come back and write fellowship with God? Oh, Give Lord hand praise. I don't open it. I'm not, I don't open any doors in no church. I'm not trying to get no membership. I don't do that. The reason why? Because you, the Holy Spirit has to lead you here. He's the pastor, not me. This is his house. I'm trying to get no people. He got to get the people. He going to tell the person to join him. My God, oh, shut up. The man say, how can I be part of this? You give me blessings. This is a blessed house and he's here. I just want you to come back to him. If you're going to have an explosion and put yours up in this house. Also, uh, I want to commend the tree stand up. For great work with that play yesterday, I was truly blessed. I said, I'm going to wound you so good. <laughs> oh, wounded. Hey, man, they lied on me. I'm going to cry up in the air. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> That's a powerful thing. And I was a man. All you that was involved, stand up. Oh, they, they did a great job. They did a great job. Y'all missed a blessing yesterday. I'm so proud. Yeah, I'm so proud of Soul of Spirit last night. But it showed me the, how we can minister creatively. That play touched people's hearts. Because y'all came out and told what to show y'all hurts and pains and, you know, with no shame and, and touched other people. Now, everybody was hurting up in this room. Amen. I almost broke. Ah! I'm a wounded son. I'm a wounded general. Oh, Jesus. I almost did it. Hey. Oh, yeah. It was powerful. Let's give them another hand praise and I commend. And I'm thinking how we can do. Do, do something with that. I'm just thinking, just give me time. I, I, it'll bring healing to a lot of people. Amen. At this time, we're going to take the offering up. I want to touch everybody's hands. The prayer you've been pressing out these 10 people give $100 with me today. So we can make a budget. If you can, the best you can. Oh, put the best you can where you can. Come, let me be a blessing. 